55 years ago, on this day, April 4th, 1968, I was the statewide youth coordinator for the Southern Christian Leadership Conference and for the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. in my home state of North Carolina. Uh, on that day, I was in Charlotte on the campus of University of North Carolina in Charlotte. And I heard on the radio that Dr. King had been shot in Memphis. I immediately left uh, the college campus and went to the local labor union of the American Federation of State County Municipal Employees asked me, uh, the sanitation workers local union. I was also a part-time worker there. And I wanted to go there because we had a similar uh, sanitation strike in Charlotte. In fact, the next day, April 5th, Dr. King was supposed to travel to North Carolina and first stop in Charlotte and then go on also to Wilmington. And I was helping to prepare to receive Dr. King on April 5th. Of course, he never made it. One hour later, I heard also on the radio while I was at the Union headquarters that Dr. King had been assassinated. Earlier I heard he had just been shot. I was praying that he was to make it. But when the announcer announced that Dr. King was dead, it was one of the saddest days of my life. I cried, I wiped my tears, and I decided on that day, April 4th, 1960, 55 years ago, I was going to rededicate my life to keep Dr. King's dream alive. I was a chemistry major at the time at UNC Charlotte. I finished my degree, but I was going back to school to study religion and philosophy. And following Dr. King's tradition of nonviolence, of nonviolent civil disobedient protests against racism, against injustice, his dream was an American dream. His dream was for all people uh, throughout the world to have freedom, justice, and equality. That's my remembrance from 55 years ago.